and a very pleasant, <clears throat> good Wednesday morning, everyone. It is April the 8th, I'm raising a cup of joe to you. If you're like me, you're probably going to need more than one cup today. And if you're like me, you probably look a little more tired and feel a little more tired than you normally might first thing in the morning. That's because it was, as you know, an interesting night. Oh, what a night. Um, the timing was right on the mark of what we uh, anticipated, and even uh, the storms were on par with what was anticipated with wind and hail being um, the chief threats, and they were, um, but it's never easy to get storms rolling through the area in the middle of the night. It wakes you from your sleep, it keeps you awake, and then it's hard to fall uh, back asleep, and especially anyone that received any damage. And there has been, um, from the reports I was reading this morning, a considerable amount of damage, lots of trees down, as you would imagine, uh, power outages uh, still all across the area. Uh, all due to mainly straight line wind damage. Um, in addition, uh, I was reading some reports of structural damage in some spots. Get my glasses on here. Um, a roof apparently blown off a church in New Kensington, uh, where there was a tornado warning in effect for a period last night. Uh, and some structural damage reported in Elwood City, Harmony, Robinson Township uh, as well. And... Um, Clocked wind speeds, wind gusts, of 62 miles an hour in Jeanette and 61 miles an hour in West Mifflin. And I think that's a safe bet that most of us probably saw wind gusts at or in excess of 60 miles an hour. Now, as we're all waking up this morning, since the storms occurred in the middle of the night, uh, we're probably going to be waking up to damage. Um, if you feel safe and comfortable... Um, snap a picture of maybe some of the damage around your neck of the woods and uh, go ahead and post those photos for me. I'm curious as to uh, the scope and the level of any damage that was received across the area uh, last night. Um, and there could be still a lot of people without power this morning. I'm sure there are. Um, so uh, hopefully you get it back very soon. There were a lot of watches and warnings out in the course of the night as well. Those have all since expired as all the rain and storms have moved well south of Morgantown down into parts of West Virginia. And thankfully, it's going to be a calm and quiet day today uh, with a little sunshine in the mix as well. Uh, and we'll get more damage assessment throughout the day today again as we get into the daylight hours. We'll have a better idea as to what damage occurred overnight last night. Uh, let's start off whiteboard weather this morning with a shout out to our Wednesday morning sponsor. It is Braun Bostich and Associates. They are financial advisors. They are wealth transformers. This is the homepage of their website, braun-bostich.com. A lot of great information right there on the site. Easy for you to navigate right at your fingertips. They have uh, information about the CARE Act and COVID-19 right there on the homepage as it relates to you and maybe uh, some of your finances. You can ask them anything. We all have a lot of questions about uh, things. So you can click right on that link. Don't have to be a client of them. Just ask them and they'll answer. And if you want to pursue and investigate uh, partnering with Braun Bostich and Associates, you can schedule a call and start kicking the tires on uh, getting healthy in your financial future moving forward. Uh, again, they're Braun Bostons and Associates. They are wealth transformers. They're local. They are trusted. Uh, I trust them to help plan my financial future. Maybe you should as well. Braun Bostich and Associates. Here is a look at the current conditions outside right now. Again, as I said, it is calm and quiet, quite the opposite of how it was in the middle of the night. Fair skies being reported in most locations with temperatures running in the low to mid 50s. Most places between about 50 and 53 degrees with winds generally calm or only 5 miles an hour. So light winds outside this morning. As I mentioned, you can see all the rain 
has pushed well south of the area. You can see it's down there uh, well south of Morgantown and heading in that direction, which leaves us high and dry at least during the daytime period today so we get a chance to kind of take a deep breath, recover, and reset for the next round of rain, not storms, but rain that will be approaching the area tonight, after midnight tonight. We're going to need another, another round of rain, but again, not during uh, the day today. Let's run down uh, some birthdays and national days today. If you or someone you know has a birthday today, you celebrate with Biz Marquee. Also, uh, Richard Hatch. Remember that guy from Survivor? He was one of the original uh, reality TV stars, uh, if you will, or at least notable names. Uh, Julian Lennon, son of John Lennon and Yoko Ono. And if you're a fan of the Dukes of Hazard, John Schneider has a birthday today. Um, was he Bo or Luke? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, it's National Zoo Lovers Day today. Which, by the way, I finished off Tiger King last night. Speaking of zoos, um, that was an interesting venture. Um, National All Is Ours Today, which means that you should appreciate everything that you have. That's what All Is Ours Day today uh, is is uh, highlighting. Appreciate everything that you have. And, of course, at sunset tonight, those of the Jewish faith begin celebrating Passover. Uh, so... Those are some of your national days today. Let's check out the weather for today as we head over to the whiteboard again on Wednesdays. We are brought to you by Braun Bostich and Associates. That's how you spell it. Add a .com behind it, braunbostich.com. Check out their website and maybe check them out to start planning your financial future. Get on secure ground in these turbulent times with the financial advisors and the wealth transformers from Braun Bostich. And associates. Here's the breakdown of today. 8 o'clock this morning, 52 degrees. We'll call it fair skies. There are uh, still some clouds that are going to linger in the area this morning. I do think it becomes partly sunny by noontime, 58 degrees, and 65 at 4 o'clock, breezy and mild with some sunshine. So, as I mentioned, a generally quiet day today as uh, some morning clouds will give way to afternoon sunshine, and those temperatures will surge into the 60s. Enjoy it all, because the next round of rain showers will arrive after midnight tonight. Uh, it's not going to be stormy, just rainy tonight and into tomorrow. As it turns much cooler Thursday and Friday, that's going to be the real notable change. We're going from 60s today into the 40s for highs the next two days before we do bounce back over the Easter holiday weekend. So that is a look at your wake-up whiteboard. Calm and quiet today, mid-60s, rainy tonight, and much cooler tomorrow. So that is your breakdown. Um, you can get outside and enjoy, hopefully enjoy, uh, a little of the calm, quiet weather today, assuming you're not cleaning up after last night's storms. Um, that's the weather information I have for you today. As always, I ask that you please visit pittsburghweathernow.com. Uh, on the website, you can vote for Best of the Berg 2020. Uh, there's also a lot of uh, information on there on a daily basis. It's got a story and a little article coming out later today about what a squall line is. Um, and that's what we had that came through the area last night. Uh, so check out the website. Get all that information and also link to all of our sponsors and support them whenever possible. You can link to the All Weather Wealth Tips page from Braun Bostich and Associates. Wonderful information there as well. I will be uh, back with you at 3 o'clock this afternoon. We will break down in greater detail the holiday weekend forecast. And another reminder that tomorrow at noon, uh, another edition, Volume 4 of Weather School coming your way tomorrow at noon and there'll be another reminder about that uh, coming up later today and uh, uh, a plea if you have uh, any questions to ask them in the comments section not of this one but of the post I'll put up later today and invite anyone you think would enjoy a little weather uh, education so um, that's coming up uh, later today lots of good stuff coming at you uh, from whiteboard weather in Pittsburgh weather now I hope you have a great day today. I will see you at 3 o'clock this afternoon. 
Go enjoy a second cup of coffee. Peace.